What's up YouTube, Linux Noob here. Today we're going to have a quick look at oh, one of my most favorite Linux distributions out there. I'm talking about Peppermint OS 6. In this video we're gonna uh, quickly discuss about uh, why I like it so much and recommend it to almost every Linux user out there to at least give it a try once. And then a few things that I don't quite like so much and I think that there are room uh, for improvement and then finally we'll give our final thoughts about the OS itself. So without further ado, let's get started. So Peppermint OS 6 is a overall lightweight uh, Linux based distribution that is based on the Ubuntu 14.04 long term support release. Uh, the developer team has focused on uh, getting the most out of the cloud based apps that are available on the internet and that has been their main focus with the OS. However, as a user, I'm not that much into cloud apps. Uh, using cloud apps natively on a system so we're gonna have a quick look uh, at an overall look at the OS as how it performs as an everyday OS and does it get the job done and I can say right now that hell yeah it does now uh, what you're seeing in the screen right now this is not how it comes out of the box I've customized it to how I like it. I've installed uh, third-party icon packs. I've got this conky widget uh, running up here. I've uh, set my wallpaper and a few other tweaks uh, to make, an, make it feel and look like exactly how I want it to. Now the first thing that you'll notice is how lightweight the OS itself is. Uh, and because it's that lightweight, if you have older hardware, like uh, you, if you have a PC laying around that's uh, 7 or 8 years old, probably 10 years old even, and you want to get the most out of it and run a latest operating system in there, by all means, give it a try. Then uh, I pretty much have uninstalled uh, almost everything that it, uh, by default it came with. Uh, like the cloud shortcuts and there was a tool called ICE it, by default it came with Chromium I've installed cr uh, Google Chrome because I'm used to it and uh, that's how I uh, like it and it pretty much ran all my apps that I use on Linux since it's a Ubuntu base so I didn't have any problems with the uh, getting the softwares to run now there are a few things that is completely unique about this operating system uh, that I haven't seen in any other Linux distributions before. As a desktop environment, this is running LXDE. Uh, now as a user, I don't personally like LXDE that much. Of course, it's great for older hardware. It's it's like one of the most lightweight uh, Linux distributions, well, sorry, Linux desktop environments that you can get out there but it's old and uh, for me it has very little functionality compared to the other ones like XFC or uh, KDE or GNOME so personally I don't like LXD that much but they have done some pretty cool stuff with it uh, so I absolutely love about this one uh, things that I absolutely love about this one now as I just mentioned this is not yeah, your another LXDE best uh, uh, Ubuntu derivative. Uh, they what they have done specifically is they have handpicked the best components of other distributions and put it in uh, in the in here. So uh, all customized apps. Of course, it's running LXDE, but mostly it doesn't come with none of the LXDE apps. They have uh, handpicked those apps uh, from other distributions. As an example, File Manager. They have uh, dealt with PC Man FM, and they have included Nemo. That is like uh, Linux Mint's uh, one of the best parts of Linux Mint. This is the uh, File Manager from Cinnamon Desktop. So this is an example of what they have done. Uh, they have also included the Mint Update Manager, 
rather than the typical Ubuntu update manager and this, uh, this update manager is loved by the Linux community throughout uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned so great addition to that but the biggest change that I feel is uh, they have included uh, XFWM4 window manager. Now what that is, is the windows manager from XFTC desktop. Now XFCE has been my most favorite uh, uh, desktop environment in the Linux world. So I'm pretty used to XFWM4. Uh, they are not using the default uh, LXD window manager in here so a great addition or customization that they have made to uh, make LXD or should I say peppermint a lot more functional to have a lot more functionality uh, in the OS itself and of course they have uh, customized the look and feel by themselves of course I have customized it even more so um, by default it looks a lot different but still what they have done with the transparency and other stuff it's great they have got their own terminal and their own apps so that is great for that and overall this um, I'm not gonna uh, go through all the apps out there because uh, first of all it I've uninstalled most of the stuff that it uh, came preloaded with and I've installed my uh, own uh, applications but there are a few applications that I haven't uninstalled because by default I use those like VLC media player is my go-to media player all the time as a package manager I use GDBi and it comes preloaded with GDBi so that is also a great addition and they have like customized it to uh, the best of their abilities also while keeping it like um, a very very lightweight and hardware friendly so and on top of that because it's uh, Ubuntu derivative uh, it will run almost all the softwares available for Ubuntu so that is also a great thing uh, because uh, almost all the software I use on Linux is available for Ubuntu so uh, it works uh, absolutely flawlessly with uh, all the apps that I have tried and I use on a daily basis so overall it's like really really simple and easy to use yet it's so much powerful as an OS itself now there are a few things that is like I think that there are Im there is a room for improvement and first of all for me is really this this is the applications menu that's all you get out of the box and I searched a bit and I didn't really find any good replacements for LXD menu now I realize it's lightweight it's the default menu but the peppermint developer team if you are listening you have done so many great things with the OS. I absolutely love like the addition of Nemo, the Mint Update Manager, uh, completely doing away with the default LXD window manager and including XFWM4. So many great things. What happened with the menu? Like I'm as I said just a few minutes before I'm a XFCE guy in the Linux world so I'm so much familiar with the whisker menu and with the whisker menu comes that search menu, search panel like so even if you are not doing something like completely uh, out of the box at least the search menu is something that that I think should be included in any modern OS I'm so much used to it and this is almost like a deal breaker for me like uh, that is something that's stopping me to completely switching from Zubun to to peppermint on my Linux machine rig on my Linux desktop now as far as I'm concerned like this menu is an absolute disaster and it doesn't really fit with the rest of the with, with uh, 
what I would call is a great operating system overall. So again, Linux Dev, Peppermint Dev Team, if you're listening, please do something with the uh, menu. Now, another thing, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube or in general and this is not a problem specific to peppermint itself but whenever you try to play some videos there's absolutely massive tearing that occurs this is a problem with both xfc and lxd now i did fix it uh, with the because i'm running an amd rig uh, uh, i'm running off of an amd apu in the catalyst driver they have an option to turn vsync on and have a tear free desktop so that's how i got rid of it in both xfc and uh, peppermint uh, but if you're not running an amd rig um, there might be a way out but it's not it's not going to be as simple as this one so uh, if you are someone who watches a lot of videos uh, that is something you should uh, take a note of and one more thing that I noticed was when I from Chrome when I go to YouTube sometimes yes yeah, sometimes it does open the uh, new YouTube player but as you can see right now I'm trying to open up uh, Arch Linux um, a video from Linux help guy but problem is it's running the old YouTube player so if you are someone it's not really a deal breaker as it uh, in terms of functionality it has almost everything that the new one has the new one just plain looks better and blends better with the uh, Google's material design I personally love the designs but it's not really a deal breaker but uh, that is something I th uh, think you should take a note at if you are interested into it so overall I think Pepper the Peppermint developer team has done an extraordinary job of putting together a great operating system. Uh, personally it's now one of my most favorite uh, Linux distributions out there. Uh, I'm thinking of completely switching from Zubuntu to, to Peppermint on my uh, Linux desktop. and. Uh, except for those few things like the menu and uh, tearing, uh, if those problems are fixed, I would probably say that this is like the best uh, Linux distributions out there for almost everybody. Give it a try if you are into Linux or if you're thinking of getting into Linux, you can very easily start over here it's also very easy to use so you can uh, start over here uh, i'll put a, the link in the description to where you can download the os and give it a spin so that is pretty much it for this video like the video if you like it dislike the video if you disliked it uh, also comment about if you're running uh, peppermint or you have, if you have tried peppermint before uh, whether you like it or not which component specifically you like it or and also if you know any way to like replace this menu with something better like the whisker menu if you know any uh, way of doing that uh, give it uh, put it in the comments uh, it will help me greatly and i'll see you in the next video